Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Not Not a Brain Buster. Now we've all seen this game for sale on the eShop and I decided to pick it up. I think it was like 50 cents. Today I have Malika with me Hi. to talk about it because she actually played the majority of the game. But first we're going to talk about what exactly is Not Not. So let's get right into that. Not Not a Brain Buster is basically a puzzle game. That's how you describe it, right? Like a puzzle kind of game. Brain puzzle. A brain puzzle game. So basically you're this human on this cube and there are command prompts that pop up and you have to go up, down, left, right, or do nothing. That's all there really is to it. But the puzzles get progressively harder. So they start out with, it'll say left and you go left. It'll say right, you go right. And then they'll have double negative. So it'll say not, not left. Then you have to think about it and go the correct way. You get three lives. So if you die, you go right back to the command prompt that came up and you try again, hopefully pick in the right direction this time. And for each command prompt, you have like three to five seconds to do it. And this puts a little bit of pressure on it. it really makes you have to think as quick as you can to do the correct action. So if you uh, make it through and don't hit anything wrong, you get a gold. And there's only like two places you can get. You can either get gold, silver, or you just fail the whole level. So those are the only two options. It's not like, it's not a time or anything. It's just if you lose one life, you still get a silver. If you use like lose two lives, it's still a silver. So you either get a gold with like a perfect run or it's a silver or you just don't pass the level. So when it comes to gameplay, there is a classic mode, there's challenge mode, and there's versus mode. There's three different modes. So for classic mode, there's nine different sets of three levels, each progressively getting harder. So the first level will have 20 or 30 steps and then it'll be 40 steps and 50 steps. So it doesn't really make the puzzles harder. It allows you more steps to make those three mistakes and so obviously 30 steps is going to be easier than 50 steps because there's 20 less steps to make mistakes in. and then each set of levels kind of has a theme so you have so in the beginning you have like directional clues like go left or not left and then as you progress you'll have colors like green or not green and then it'll introduce the impossible levels so spoilers but like you have to stay in the center if you can't follow the command so each thing has a theme. Classic mode has you follow the command prompts for as long as you possibly can. And multiplayer has you and up to three other people play against each other and try to perform all the actions as quick as possible. When it comes to music. I had the music enabled. So I mean, it wasn't too, I usually don't have the music when I play games on. So it wasn't anything too crazy. It was. Just music. Yeah, just music. When it comes to graphics and stuff, you're literally just a guy in a cube. Nothing to expect. And the one thing that we actually found out was this game was a mobile game at one point. So it kind of, like you said that after finding that out, it kind of made sense. It made sense, yeah. That there's only certain things, like it does feel like a mobile game, but it's not necessarily like a good or a bad thing. So now we covered kind of what you can expect when you play this game. Uh, since Miranda played so much of it, she can give us a couple reasons why you like the game and why she doesn't like the game. So what are some reasons you would recommend this game to someone? So one of the reasons that I like it is that it <laughs> encourages you to keep beating levels. So you have this sense of like urgency that if you beat a level, you want to go on to the next level and you want to keep doing it. I think it's part of the timer and the fact that you need to get a perfect score to get the gold. So there's a lot of encouragement to really like See all the things fill up gold? Yeah, I, she was kind of addicted to it. It's kind of addictive if you're a certain, have a certain personality trait because yeah. Miranda kind of got addicted to it. She couldn't put it down. I know. It was really, it almost reminded me of like Candy Crush type feel where you're like doing it and you want to keep playing it. My next reason is that it felt like it actually exercised my brain. So it was almost like I was actually playing like a brain game. Like at first it was kind of not confusing, but more challenging. But then as you go, it's like you're working your brain muscles in a certain way that it's like you actually feel like it's giving you mental stimulation. Um, my third reason was that it was easy to learn. The controls are really simple. You can either like only go in four directions or stay in the center of the cube. So it wasn't a lot of like learning what the trigger buttons do, which is like something I have a trouble with going between like PC and Xbox and Switch. So if you're not like a main Switch player, you'll have a really easy time picking it up because I think it's because it was a mobile game that you only had simple controls and that I'm sure like almost anyone can play it. And I saw that they do have a colorblind option if you That's can't do the colors. So even if you're colorblind, you can play it but I feel like almost anyone can play the game and pick it up so what are some reasons you didn't like the game? one of the reasons I didn't like the game is that you have to unlock almost well you have to unlock every single level to get to the final three theme I don't know how else to the final it. set of levels the final three set of levels so it's really hard that if you're struggling in a certain category like you can't unlock and like unlock all the levels and like 100% it unless you like unlock the one previously yeah for like for me personally like i don't think i could 
end up doing that, so I would never never be able to experience the full game if it wasn't from random beating all the levels for me. Um, another reason I didn't like it was towards the end it feels more like memorization, that if you see three knots then it's an actual knot, if you see two knots then it's like a yes, so like not not green, you go for the green. So a lot of it is like whether there's two or three knots, and it feels more like memorization of that than actually like exercising your brain. So that's all of her reasons. The only thing I have to say about the game is that I got kind of anxious playing it. Um, it was seeing that timer going around um, and not really being able to grasp what I was seeing in front of me um, quick enough kind of just made me frustrated so I definitely didn't really enjoy the game but um, let's talk about price and value so the game is two dollars regular price I bought it for 50 cents uh, Miranda would you buy this game at full price I wouldn't spend two dollars probably because it did in a way remind me of a free mobile game that I would probably download and enjoy but I would enjoy it mainly because it's free and it did give me about two hours of enjoyment I would say but then also since I haven't played it, I tried to pick it back up a little bit later and I wasn't in the mindset for it so I don't think it's replay value is very high yeah I, I can see that because you, know? you kind of once you beat everything you're like well I don't want to go through that again right. <laughs> so yeah and it takes a long time to like work up to the final level so mm -hmm. if you pick it back up you almost have to like redo all the levels before it just to get your brain up to the level before it so I would say no simply for the fact that I wouldn't want to replay it. I had a lot of fun playing it when I did, but I wouldn't pay $2 for a game that I could only play through once. And... But 50 cents, sale price 50 cents, you'd definitely buy it. Yeah, 50 cents I would buy it because it did give me enough enjoyment. Kind of a mixed review on the game. It wasn't bad, it wasn't great, it's kind of just there. But we see it on the eShop so frequently that I figured I'd buy and review it for you guys. That's the end of today's review. Thank you, Miranda, for joining me today and actually reviewing the game because you did play it way more than I have. I couldn't give, have given an accurate review, so thank you for that. If you do play Not Not, and if you do pick it up on sale or pay full price, let us know in the comments how far you get, because I'm unable to unlock the last, yeah, last like level. last level of the three. So if you get that far, please let me know, because I'll be very impressed. If not, still tell us, because I'd like to see where other people are getting yeah, in there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And subscribe if you like this content. <laughs> Leave a like, obviously likes are awesome. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully it's still recording. <laughs>